Hi, I'm Hank Shannon from uh, Rare Fine Nursery. We propagate and sell well over a thousand different rhododendrons and azaleas. We're located in Jackson, New Jersey, right in the center of New Jersey, and we sell retail and mail order across the country east of the Rocky Mountains. The most common questions that we are, we are asked always have to do with how do you plant a rhododendron. Later in this program, Ron Rabideau, who is our nursery manager, will be showing you in great detail how to do that. But first, let me talk in a general way about that. The most important elements in planting a rhododendron is first, you must have good drainage. Second, you should have a soil that is an acid pH, that is between 4.5 and 5.8. And if you don't know what your pH is, have it tested. You should have dappled shade or at least be on the east side or north side of your house. You must be able to get water to it when it's needed during uh, dry spells. And most important, most rhododendrons today are grown in containers. When you take it out of the container, it has a very fibrous root system and you must tear that root system apart. Ron will illustrate that, but I cannot emphasize that enough is that you must tear that root ball apart and spread it out so it makes good contact with the um, soil. Hello, my name is Ron Rabideau. And this is Rare Find Nursery. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to properly plant a rhododendron. Most of the rhododendrons you will buy were grown in a pot. It's usually very easy to remove the plant from the pot. That's your first step. If it's difficult, just tap around the edges and it should come right off. After you take the plant out of the container, you want to take a look at the roots. They're often matted. If you were to plant this in the ground without working on the roots, the plant could easily die. The next step, and probably the most important step, is to properly prepare the roots before planting. With an ordinary kitchen knife, I'm going to make a couple of cuts through the roots of this plant. This may seem brutal, but it's very important, absolutely necessary, for this plant to perform well. The next step is to take a hand cultivator and remove the matted roots. Scratch them up very well on the bottom and also on the sides. Don't be afraid to dig in The roots should look like this when you're finished. You probably want to cultivate about an inch into the surface to make sure all those matted roots are loosened up. I've chosen an area with well-drained soil that gets partial sun and partial shade. Now I'm going to dig the hole. I prepared a hole at least twice the width of the root ball. Finished grade of the top of the root ball should be an inch or two higher than the surrounding area. I found some composted leaves which we're going to use to mix half and half with the soil that we dug from our hole. We'll use this material, the half and half, to backfill the plant. You'll see I made a circular dam around the hole. This is to hold water. It's especially important that you flood this very well after it's first planted to settle the soil all around the roots. For future waterings, you can fill this saucer, this depression around the roots with water, and it will slowly soak into the ground. If you didn't have this dam, the water would just run off and not penetrate into the roots where it's needed. 